We are in my backyard, and um, me and my dad and mom, we planted an apple tree, um, let me see, like uh, weeks ago, and this is the apple tree right here, right? So, I haven't seen it for a, a couple of days because I've just been focusing on uh, in the other aspects of life and also because of school so I'm seeing it I see like I see these growing to it and it's amazing because what do I expect you know like we put it to good vegetation some good ground a different kind of ground my dad was like you know what that's they don't like the kind of ground that we need you know it's not looking right so we put it to the ground as well too and the bees following me I'm afraid but Thinking about it, it's like, it says on the side, right, it's from the Home Depot Garden Club, and it says, okay, highlights, you know, harvest success, you know, okay, highlights, large fruits on compact tree are incredibly crisp and aromatic, skin is red over a yellow background, cream colored flesh is juicy and very sweet, excellent for dipping, salads, and baking. Harvest success needs a pollinator such as Cartland, Gala, Fuji, or Liberty for best fruit set. The outstanding flavor holds for at least six months in cold storage, ripens early to mid fall depending on climate, growth, and pruning. Okay, so for pruning, you do the you do the pruning in the winter time while it's dormant, so you remove what's crowded and the damaged branches to maintain the shape. And then prefers fertile, moist, well-drained soil and full sun, hardy and well adapted for most regions, right? So you need a hardiness, and it's negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the mature size, it says it. The space that you'll need 68. Fertilization in the spring and features uh, culinary use, and you water weekly. But let me let me go straight to the point. Let me go straight to the point that I'm trying to say, right? Let me go straight to the point of what I'm trying to say. It's like, look at this tree. I mean, right now it's like it's like a shrub right now. You know, it's really 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 small, really thin. And this is my other tree right here, right? For for shade, with this one clip a little bit because it was getting getting huge. Look at these branches compared to this, right? But don't underestimate it because this this tree has been here, you know, for God only knows, maybe like, you know, more than this tr this house has been, right? So if you imagine if you cut it down, you see all these rings. The difference between these two trees is the experience of it, how much it's cultivated. We don't water the big tree. We don't water big tree, you know. We, we like me. I don't water plants regularly or weekly at all. Even though it says over here for the for this tree to survive, you need weekly water. That's what you. That's what it needs: water and sunlight and good dirt, good soil. What I'm trying to say is, just like people, over time, you don't see the potential. You don't see the potential yet, but over time, over development, over nurturing, like the tree, it either gets bigger, gets stronger, more sturdier, where it crumples. But you don't see it yet. What you need is nurturing. What you need is time. So instead of being in a rush. Take some time. Alright. So that was the thought. The shrub versus the tree. <laughs> okay. Like I said again. You don't see the potential yet. Not yet. But over time with nurturing and the uh, right stuff used and treated. You can go from this to this. Look how far it spread.
just like us. Just make sure you use the right stuff to help you grow. Okay? Alright. Peace.